Welcome to Fabulous Flowers TV 12 Festive Filmettes. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to make the most fabulous festive basket for your dining table, for your coffee table, maybe on the hall table. I mean, pop it wherever you like. So, let's get going. I've got here a rather lovely rustic basket. Got this from the garden centre. They're everywhere, online, just a lovely basket. And I've popped in it lots of dry oasis which is a form of floral foam. Tricky one to say, not saying that one again. Form of floral foam, I've popped it all in there, basket's ready to go, and let's, let, let's get going with this gorgeous arrangement. So, I've got some wonderful pillar candles here, which, just to keep them steady, I've um, snapped up, snipped up, a little kind of stick here that came from an old orchid plant, with some florist tape, again, from a good garden centre or online. So, what we've done, we've just Got them all like, like that to steady it, but I'm going to quickly show you how to add the last one so you, you're not left in the dark with how we do it. So, here are the sticks. Snip them up with the tape. Got another one here. You simply take it like that, press it up against the candle, and then add the tape, which is just starting to go a bit ski-whiffy. It's fine. So with this sort of thing, it's very easy to do, and it just keeps it nice and steady whilst it's burning. So adding it like that, can you see that? And this tape is waterproof, it's very resilient, and then you don't have to worry about your candles misbehaving. So, now, we're going to add these, and I like odd numbers, so threes, fives, sevens. So we're adding this one in the middle, and this is the fun bit. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> Strangely satisfying. In it goes there. So that's nice and steady in the middle of the basket. So three in a row, here we go. So, another one there. And get your structure right and the rest of your flowers, which we're going to add, will follow through. So, you have to be quite strict that they are nice and straight. There, isn't that great? Look, nice and sturdy and steady. And the style of this basket arrangement is going to be quite traditional. I'm going for lots of rich reds and wines and burgundies, a real sort of traditional celebration perfect for the festive season. So, let's get going. I've got some hydrangeas here, which I've dried, and they're a lovely kind of red, jewelly colour, and simply snip the stem, or you can snap it with your hands like that, and we're going to start the base of the decoration just by plunging them in like that. Um, most of these will get covered in other decorative stuff, but it's just to cover the oasis and the gubbins, quite a technical word, the gubbins around the base of the candles. I think I'm going to use my scissors, and they are just here. Right, so snipping it, and as I always say, it's slight angle, so it can just plunge in into the floral foam nicely. So we're covering this up. Be quite brave, just don't have to be prissy about it. Just get it all in there. And these, I think, are just such a lovely, lovely colour. And they're quite rustic. Um, and this arrangement will, as I said, last throughout the festive period. So you haven't got to worry about flowers dying, anything like that. And then at the end of Christmas, you just pop it up in the attic, or in a cupboard, in a box with a bit of tissue paper, and it'll be fine for next year. That is the great thing about this. So it's a mixture of natural dried things, the hydrangea, and we've got some other faux stuff. But you can use anything you like. I've got the lovely red apples there. You could use fake pomegranates. Now, all these things, you're thinking, where am I going to get that from? But you just look online, Google faux fruit, faux flowers, or you could even Google Covent Garden Flower Market. They're, you know, always available. Stuff, lovely, lovely sundries there. Um, pop along to their website, Covent Garden Flower Market. Um, it's just an absolute treasure trove of things. So sort of getting a little bit of a, keep it nice and low, you can be quite sort of rough with it. So we've got that there, just give you a little bit of a spin. It's always good to stand back. Well, it's all, all in the tweak. Um, so, we've got our hydrangeas in, and now I'm going to add some of these wonderful faux poncettias. So what we're going to do is add those, I'm going to snip them quite short actually because they're going to nestle nicely down into it. Look at that, it just says Christmas, doesn't it? Love it. 
But you could do this with anything. I mean, any, any sort of colour palette. So I, I've gone for the, the reds and quite traditional, but you could do an all white one, which would look really smart. Think about the way your candle's going to burn. So you want to keep things a little bit away, but of course, you know, the candles, you've just got to be, excuse your common sense really, sensible. So we're just adding these all the way around. And I think, so I've grouped two together there. Just turn that around and show that to you there, you see? And do another one here. I did one the other day with white hydrangeas, uh, not white hydrangeas, white poncettias, and it looks so stylish. But this has got that real Christmassy feel to it. There we are. So, we've got that to the stage where we've got the hydrangeas in, the poncettias, and now I'm going to add these apples. So these are the wonderful faux apples, they're made of polystyrene, and I'm going to show you how to wire them. So we've got our base ready, we've got the lovely hydrangeas, the beautiful poncettia, and now the fun begins. We're going to add the fruit. And I've got some faux fruit. Obviously in another fresh arrangement you could do real apples, but I'm using these faux ones which you can get online. Just Google artificial fruit. So these apples, polystyrene, I've got the stub wire in them, and then we're just going to plunge it in, in nice grouped ways. So I'll show you how to wire an apple. So here is your fake apple your stub wire, which is available at all florists, online, and then you just get your wire like that and you pop it into the polystyrene very easily and it just goes through to the other side, there, like that. So we're going through the polystyrene and then twiddle them up like that and then twist. So there, that's a lovely wired apple ready to go. I've done loads of them, so this is where the fun starts. So you want to keep them grouped um, for maximum impact, so I'm gonna, don't be afraid, just shove them in there nicely. So do one there, and oh, they look so lovely and sort of welcoming. So I'm gonna do two, two there, nestled into the bronzettia. I mean, you could use some fake grapes if you're feeling a bit kind of, what's the word, extravagant. Um, or you could go tropical, you know, if you felt like a tropical seasonal moment, why not? But as I said, this sort of has slightly sort of lovely traditional overtones. So adding a few more. I love these apples. They come in many different shapes. It's quite nice to use pears as well. Um, I did an arrangement once with some fake pheasants in with pears, and it looks so lovely and festive. So you can just go mad, do whatever you like, that's what I say. Um, Again, grouping, and you can have them sort of cascading, you know, a little cornucopia. Uh, let's pop one down there. So we've got our apples in. You can always add more. Always step back and have a little wonder at your work. Um, so that's coming along, nice and festive. So next, we're going to pop in the cinnamon sticks. So I love a cinnamon stick. It just, that smell is Christmas. So again, probably from a, a good Waitrose, or Tesco, other supermarkets exist, but a good old uh, supermarket or perhaps a craft store, cinnamon sticks, get them like that, nice ribbon on them and some stub wire. I'll show you how to do that. Very, very easy. So you get your cinnamon sticks, you get your stub wire, twist it round with a little bit of tape, the old good old florist tape again, which again, good old florist, making friends with them. You pop that on there, that's ready to go in, but let's just make it one step one step more festive with a little bit of ribbon. So you get your ribbon, which I've already cut to a nice length, and you want to disguise that, um, that tape. So we're going round it like that, and then just simply tie a little bow. So I've done quite a few of those, and this will just give it another level of festive festiveness. So we've got that. So we're going to just add him there, like that. And have a little tweak. This, this ribbon's fabulous because it's got wire in it, so you can make it do that kind of exuberant ribbony thing. Let's pop him there for her. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, ooh, it's looking so Christmassy already. And then another one here. Um, like that. And let it 
across to do things. So, you know, it's all going to mix and mingle together. Let's have that. So we've got three of those in. And then, as if it can't get any more Christmassy, we're going to add some of this beautiful sparkle, which will just make it really zing and ping. So this, again, a really good artificial eucalyptus. I'm snipping it and snapping it. And this was, again, from a really good department store. Plunging that in, just to have it really getting nice and festive now. And add that throughout. And I think, I think we're nearly there. But anyway, make it fun, make it festive, and enjoy your flowery Christmas moments. Oh, 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 oh